Pills with T and the J's. Um, turquoise is my mother Janice and my sister Jenny. And today our topics are today our topics are men who kill their wives and girlfriends, the movie Bad Hair, and the final presidential debate, and more. So let's start off with these punks who can't handle their woman leaving them and unfortunately make the decision to kill them. So let's start with my sister because she knows more about these stories than I do. Um, well, there's two cases that like stuck out to me. Um, the, the case of Marquita McCleary in Texas where her, she was married, her husband of 10 years, they had three children together, she found out that uh, he cheated on her, so she told him she was divorcing him, and this man shot her 10 times and killed her in front of their kid, one of their kids. Mm -hmm. And then I, there was another case that was like viral that happened, and this was in a part of Africa, it was either Nigeria or South Africa, where a pastor his wife was leaving him and her brother came to you know help her get her stuff and get him out with him the pastor got into a fight and while they were fighting he told the brother if i don't kill your sister then i'm gonna I, that would make me fake and so the brother was like call the police told the sister call the police this man just threatened you in front of me he said he's gonna kill you call the police so she goes to work the next day that she leaves with him and then goes to work the next day and he finds her at the job and shoots and kills her just like he said he would and I'm seeing more and more cases like this happening on the news. I saw the case of a man shooting his pregnant ex-girlfriend. While he had a, he had his he had another girlfriend who was pregnant. He dr dr had her drove him to the girl's house where he shot and killed the woman, and the woman and the baby died. Mm. Just I'm seeing more and more cases like this, and as a single woman, it just like this is why I don't date. This type of stuff scares the shit out of me. And then there's really also um, like Lacey Peterson. That yeah, situation. Lacey, uh, that situation. Another. I saw the Lifetime movie. Me and you were just talking about yeah. the documentary of the guy that killed his. Uh, I think. What the, she there was a uh, yes. And they already had two daughters. Yeah, she was and pregnant. Into a Lifetime movie. It was a. I know it was a Netflix movie. It was uh, called American. Uh, American tragedy or something like that. The guy version. All I know is I, I saw that, and that was terrible too because this woman, liked, yeah, like truly loved this man. She had nothing but admiration and respect for this man, and he mm -hmm. was cheating on her. And because he was in love with this new woman, he had to get rid of his old family in a mm -hmm. sense. And that type of stuff scares me, and it seems to be me more and more common these days. Might you have anything to say about that? No. You don't have nothing to say about that? Only because I just feel sad about it. I just know that would have never happened to me. Oh, I got know. them first. Well, My daddy well, yeah. cats got broke. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think it's weird that, like, especially men like to talk about, like, when you think about society, women are more emotional, men are more logical. No. Well, I'm not saying Fact. that women don't kill their boyfriends and husbands. That happens, but just not as often as the reverse. But you know what, what I see? although they both actually have to do with, uh, with murder. But I see more women that would kill for their man, like the show uh, For My Man mm, and all that, yeah, versus yeah. trying to kill their, their man. Uh, yeah, yeah, they're about yeah. to kill the woman. Yeah, like which that, is crazy yeah. to me. But I feel like if you're not happy in a relationship, just go ahead and leave. What's the point of killing somebody? Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't get that. Yeah, that's my thing. Like, I can never hate you enough to want to kill you. Mm -hmm. I can, you can never bothered me enough to where I feel like you don't deserve to live. That I don't understand. That's sad. It, it really makes no sense to me. Really so doesn't. heart goes out to Marquita McCleary's family. All the women that and, have died. All yes. the, anybody that has suffered from the domestic abuse. It's just, it's crazy to me the times, on top of the times that we're living in, that this type of stuff is going on. I just can't believe that somebody that you claim to be in love with would murder you. And the crazy thing is, if they wouldn't have probably did that, they probably could have found somebody else along the line, down the road, you know, the man. Or That's what I'm saying. Him. If you would have just gave it a chance and went on and been single and worked on yourself, mm -hmm. then you mm -hmm. might find you the perfect mate. Mm -hmm. But how you going to find them if you willing to kill somebody over them wanting to leave? That's, That's crazy. Sense. That's just crazy. I can't believe that people actually 
feel that they're and there are people that were actually justifying like oh you don't know what that man was going oh, through well. and I'm like I don't give a fuck what he was going through that is and, and then on top I that, shall not kill yeah I'm like but I don't give a damn what you're going through that's no reason to kill the mother of your children and then and then you now said he was kids, the one cheating though yes right? he yeah. was the one cheating and then now these kids don't have a mo mother or a father they're yeah. left with nothing. That's sad. That's just terrible. I feel horrible for the children that people don't even take this into account. Well, you go, that goes show he didn't care about them kids because he wouldn't have never did that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? He wouldn't have never killed their mom. Yeah, that's just crazy to me that that would even happen, but oh, well, that is what it is. Yeah, unfortunately. It's got to change. Just, this is why I choose to stay single, man. I ain't about to do it. I just have to like say, that. if you're not happy in your relationship and you choose to date somebody else, um, you know, leave leave your spouse. Just be honest. And even if you have a affair, and then you make a decision not to have an affair, you know, again, and you stay with your spouse, that's also fine. But you don't have to kill anyone. Yeah, that's crazy to me. I just, I just can't believe it. All right, moving along. Let's talk about the movie Bad Hair. We just uh, got to see it. Was it Friday? Yeah, the it day it came Friday. out was Friday. Yeah, I liked it. I liked it a lot. Now, was that movie we saw with the man in the hair, was that body bags? Yeah, body bags, yeah. yeah. Okay, well, to me, it was just a very good version. It was an Afrocentric version right. of that story. Right, because yeah, mm -hmm. it really was good, but his hair wasn't doing all that, but that, that was, I liked <laughs> yeah. that movie, you know, and I don't really care for movies like that, but it was really good. It was a lot of, like, a, there's a lot of opinions about it, because it's a campy, cheesy type movie, but I thought it, like, had a lot of good social commentary, like how they had the channel and how these new managers came in and wanted to change everything up mm -hmm. like y'all y'all uh can't be dressed like this you can't have your hair like this and they mm -hmm. want them to look that's what happens for real and ah uh, yeah i'm surprised because that happens for real in the industry never happened to me i didn't even you weren't in that type industry. of industry though. no i wasn't no i did the manual labor <laughs> you were an yeah. essential worker yeah but still, <laughs> but still i wish that would have that was a hot mess that just goes show what happens when you try to be something that you're not yeah I think mama was just saying like not even having to be in like a music industry or a movie industry the whole thing about having to change your hair what they consider to be accepted that's all around mm -hmm. you know even in regular day life yeah. people you know so that's what I think she was no no I'm not I knew oh. what she was saying <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just saying she uh didn't have to be in the public with it because like she was trying to be on the tv the main character she wanted to be a a host like the young man that we were talking about too we were watching the movie that got his they forced him to cut his dress like they cut his dress while he was the wrestling yeah yeah you know, he had been wrestling like all this time and they went yeah. to the championship mm -hmm. match and tell him right before the match his hair doesn't meet the policy and but you chop know what then right there they should be sued they, this man, I think it's really they, so they should. They should because that's too much. You can't. We don't tell them how to wear their hair. What we'll makes them think that's straight? I got on wig, but what we'll makes them think that this is all that? Well, see, you know okay, I had a mean? conversation with somebody. Yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. That's your choice, uh -huh. though, because I had a conversation with a guy about. Uh, why black women in particular why did uh black women like wearing different textured hair uh textured hair with somebody with different uh, that's what i said i said uh we don't want to have the same hairstyle every day we like to change it up we like to play with colors we like to play with curls straight we like to do all of that it's not the best, like us, though. It's every odd. woman every woman yeah. likes to do that every woman likes to do that and we are the only group that seem to get ridiculed for it. We get ridiculed. We get ridiculed for like everything. But we're the only That's ones why that, I don't like, if I want to have straight hair one day, how does that mean that I hate myself? Or if I want to have curly hair one day, hey, sometimes I might want to rock an afro. Sometimes I might want to be very Afrocentric. But sometimes I might want to have blue hair. Sometimes I might want to have purple hair. And then you have you to know? damage your real hair. Exactly. You, you don't, don't have to damage your real hair. That's you know what, what I said. That's, like, that's what the good thing about thing. life is, and that's where people mess up. Everybody can do whatever the heck they want as long as they ain't breaking the law. Mm -hmm. You can be you. They act like we are breaking the law. That's just crazy. How, how but you are you know breaking the law for having your hair a certain way? That's crazy. I bet not walk into nobody in the store. If, if I'm wearing my hair, they say, let me touch it. Oh, I'm waiting for somebody to say, can I touch it? 
That's insulting, first of all. Yeah. They should never actually. Do we walk around asking them, can we touch their hair? I've never wanted to touch anybody. I've never wanted to touch anybody's hair. hair. If I but saw somebody with cute hair, you ever been girl, your hair is cute, or I like your hair, or something like but that. But have you, you ever been asked that, or somebody just literally walked up and just touched yeah. your hair? Yeah. yeah. I've had that happen uh -huh. before. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. In fact, uh, when I first got my braids, when I was still doing my building, uh, one of my coworkers walked up to me and was like, oh my God, like just. So she would have drew back a nub and they'd be like, that lady crazy, but you, Enough it's rude. Happens. It's just rude, you know? Mm -hmm. It's just rude. Say it's pretty. Don't you yeah, give a compliment. You shouldn't even ask nobody, even if hair. it ain't pretty to you and you want to get a closer look, your best bet is to say it's pretty and don't touch. Mm -hmm. I consider that your personal space. Just like if I like your outfit, I'm like, oh, I like your outfit. I'm not, if I like your hair, I'm like, oh, I like your hair. I'm not going to try to touch you. But I'm just <laughs> saying that, that people don't realize that is the rudest thing you can do. But I thought bad hair was good. It was a campy horror type movie. I'm a horror buff, so I like horror movies. Yeah, That's a, like I, I'm movie into too. horror, so yeah. whether it's yeah. cheesy, funny, any of that, I'm into all of that. I liked it, Bad Hair. I thought it was really good, and I loved the social commentary of it. I liked it. I thought everybody, it had Usher, Kelly Rowland. It had a I'm lot not of sure star the main power. Character. Yeah, I'm, I'm not, not sure where her name is. Was. Uh, Vanessa Williams, the model slash actress, she was in there. Very Jay good. Farrell. Yeah, Jay Farrell. So. It had a lot of star power. Uh, Blair Underwood. Yeah. He, he, he looks great. Oh, oh my God. God. He, said he really did not age. He's he got a little bit of gray and that that's just made him look even better. Yeah, that's for the movie. Yeah, he looks great. But the crazy thing is, uh, well, okay, I'm not a kind of ruin it for people, but like when she was, she got a sewing, and when the hairdresser was sewing, Laverne Cox was mm. sewing in her track, she was putting it through her scalp, so. not through the braid. Mm. So I just want to clarify some things. When we do in a row in the world world get so and it goes in through the thread goes the into hair, the hair not the scalp so anybody yeah clear that out for people that don't know yeah, well, i have people ask me it goes to your scalp no like it literally goes to the braid it's like the hair so, the braid it's it's just like you yeah. putting that clip that you wear on your hair that's the on way the they do it. Your hair is the yeah same thing. that's yeah. the yes yeah, exact same thing except for you using a needle and a thread yep and then before we hit to our last subject, uh, topic, fi the final presidential debate, I want to talk about, uh, I always forget his name, the guy from Sisters. Duvall. Uh, Duvall. So you were telling me earlier that him and his wife oh, had like, a podcast. Yeah. yeah, they had a podcast conversation, him and his wife, and I love their family. They have a beautiful family. But he was saying that she pressured him to marry her. And that uh, if she didn't uh, want to give him sex when he wanted it, why did she want him to be monogamous with her? Is basically what he was saying to her. And her response was, well, first of all, I didn't pressure you. I told you what I wanted. You had the option to either stay or leave. And he was like, but that's putting pressure on me because you're saying that if I don't do what you want, then you're going to leave me. No, I'm giving you the option to leave. It's like she didn't say... If you don't do this, I'm going to leave you. She said, you can either go with me or you can go your own way. And uh, there was a lot of talk about it on social media about how men was saying, yeah, why do women do that? Why do you want a man to be with just you if you're not going to give him sex what you want? Like, first of all, this woman had three children. Your sex drive changes after you have children. You can't just expect a woman to be your sex doll anytime you want. Like. The same way, like, maybe, I don't know, it's not a complaint, but hey, maybe sometimes a guy doesn't want to have sex and a woman does. Guys <laughs> well, are always but, down to have sex. Yeah, that's what it seems like from the responses that like, I saw. Like, but if they're not horny, they'll get horny and, yeah, bada boom, bada boom. Mm -hmm. But the whole monogamy thing and the whole... But but I don't understand. If he felt that way and they doing a podcast, that was kind of rude to him to say yeah. that. He should have told her that. Right. Well, well they, 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 it's, it's them like keeping it real. They talk about real. Well, I would have kept it real before I got on the podcast <laughs> because I would have told you if you say that, then it's going to be a problem. Yeah, and my thing, too, though, like maybe it doesn't. Okay, so if I want to be, which I, I don't really care to have a be in a relationship, but maybe I just don't want you to have unprotected sex with somebody else and, and come back and catch uh, Yeah, and yeah, yeah exactly. Like that, yeah. So maybe in that sense, like we don't have to be married, but maybe I just want to have that comfort of knowing that I'm not going to have an STD if I do, you know, have sex with be you. Be comfortable, trust you. Yeah, trust yeah. So yeah. it doesn't mean like, I don't know, I have to have sex with you all the time because I actually just, it'd be just you and I and not 20 other women. And you know what I mean? Like, 
They better God, do like in the old school, they better use their hand. And, but then, then that's another thing too, is like why be with someone that you know, if you don't want to be committed to anybody, mm-hmm. you want to be able to just sleep with whoever you want, mm-hmm. don't be in a monogamous yeah, relationship. Don't yeah. tell somebody you're going to be monogamous when you know you're but really But you got to remember a lot of times when people are married, they don't even want you until you're married to somebody else, a lot of people. Because people are messy. Yeah, people are messy. I, I see that too. That or people are attracted to people in a relationship. But you, should, but you should have enough strength to be like, no, I'm in a relationship with so and so. Like that person should be giving you everything that you need, sexually, mentally, emotionally. And then if they're not, you should sit down with your partner and say, this is what I need from you, and what do you need from me, so we can continue to, you know, on this path of unity, right. instead of stepping out on your relationship. Communication right. is key. Communication you know, is key. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, don't get married. Right. Uh, if you're not, if you yeah, don't want to get a committed relationship, uh-huh. then don't get married. Don't pull people along and be open and honest. And yep. The best thing you can ever do is sit down with that partner and communicate again what you need and ask them what they need. And then um, also, sometimes people don't even realize until the relationship is over. Oh, now I see with that person, you know, yeah. I, I see why they asked me for this now, so in that same way, you know, it's not the grass is not always green on the other side. Mm-hmm. All right, now we can move on to our last topic, the final presidential debate. I already caught literally like the end of it, and that, that was pretty much it. Um, I will say Trump handled himself a lot better this time than he did previously. Um, Still not a fan of his, but I I, I think he was a little bit better. And because I'm he didn't still, interrupt, and because I think that says a lot when the bar is so low. That, still a Democrat. <laughs> so the bar is so low that all he has to do is act like a decent human being to get a little current credit. Well, yeah. I will say he's still the same old Trump. He didn't answer no question. That this whole a, thing that he be doing be cracking me but up. But what, yeah. what killed me is yeah. his yeah. Yeah. But he said he is the least most prejudiced. He said the least, least racist, racist person. person in the room. When you say that like the guy on Saturday night, like if you gotta say that, then you are. But nobody wants a least racist person. We don't want you to be racist at all. Yeah. I'm just saying. <laughs> he, I, he I had a little bit of racism. I had a little bit of racism in me than you did. Then he literally like, said, okay, like with the whole thing with immigrants. He's uh, and the, the poor kids that are being held in cages. I didn't create the cages, I just put the kids in it. <laughs> yeah, that was whack. Like, who very, built the cages? Uh, and people keep saying, yeah, uh, Obama did say. build the cages, but he didn't put children or anybody in them. Those were, in them. Those were supposed to be for like overflow and stuff like that, but he didn't separate children. Like, he used literally, Trump usually literally used those cages to separate Tell them their what children. what Obama from. said, though. If he was like Trump. Oh, know. he said uh, if he had, because everyone knows now that Trump has a bank account in China. He has a, he's banking with China while talking about he's going to bring everything <laughs> back to America. How that makes sense, I don't know. But anyways, uh, he has and he owes tons of money to somebody. Nobody's talking about this. And Obama said, if I had a Chinese bank account, they would call me Beijing Barry. And it's true. They, would, said they, yes. Went, yes. they went on him off on him for wearing a damn tan suit. Could yeah. you imagine what they're going to go off on him for? If he did half the things, if he did a smidge of the things mm-hmm. that Trump did, he would have been attacked on all levels and probably impeached and removed. Mm-hmm. Which Trump should have been, but that's okay. He got a few more. Well, he well, got a little bit well, of more time got, left. He getting out. I don't care what nobody say. I believe he getting <laughs> out. I didn't pray on this man. He got to go. He do got to go. I totally agree with it, but I think he has a huge following. Way huger yeah. than we thought. Well, a lot of <laughs> racist and immature folks. Please. Yeah, he has a huge following. I'm surprised the people that I know support him. Mm-hmm. And it's crazy, I'm like, why? I actually I, have I to a, say this, but to the people you know, thumbs down. And I'm just, <laughs> done, I'm like, just, I, what only thing that I'm like anxious about is regardless if it's Biden or Trump, how the world is going to react on that day. I feel like it's going to be something bad. I just have a bad feeling about that day, no matter who it is. Well, 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 2020 has been wild, so anything that happens, I would not be surprised. It would be like the apocalypse. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. 
it's, it's coming just, soon. Coming, just the way people are acting, and how passionate soon, people are, and how angry yeah, people is, are. Yeah. I, I'm like, you've never but seen anything people like would not be angry election. like that if he wasn't so mean during yeah. his term. He yeah, got them yeah. thinking that they he is that and. And he only that's why I know he only ran people. because Obama was president and he was a black man. I remember he's not from here. Where's his birth certificate? Did it like he needed all this proof. That's why why he, he ran because Obama was in office. But I also find it hilarious how his his whatever you want to call it, stand supporters are a lot of older white, you know, who are whites who are on disability. But he doesn't want people to have disability. Did they, he so goes, it's like, he goes, first, y'all older ones the out there. Their faces. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like, seriously, you, you so you're okay with You know what's crazy, though? I saw um, a woman at a rally, a Trump rally, he had on a shirt that said, my son died from COVID and I still support Trump. Wow. I was like, That's wow. Ignorant. Her son ain't died from no COVID. She just one of them <laughs> stupid people that put like, it on their shirt. That was true though. That like, was true. That could be true. Mm -hmm. That's just. Been. Could you imagine? Like I. I don't even know what I'm lost words for that. Well, I don't believe she lost no kid to COVID. <laughs> I don't because. Who what? says that? Yeah. yeah who would say that? Yeah, why would, say that? that? I mean, just the mentality that that you thought that was a good idea to put that down. You don't care about your own son. That's terrible. That's true. She don't probably have a son. Yeah, he that's did. just crazy. And one, you know what? One thing though, know, you know, one thing that stood out to me about the debate though is when Trump said when he was asked about you know fossil fuels and how he released uh, uh, he basically took a lot of those regulations off of to so that we can have clean air and water. Uh, he said that's the reason why I did that is because you know they want to be able to make the money. It's like it doesn't yeah. matter. I was like, but what? Does it matter if they can make the money if they won't live to even spend it? Like we're we'll we'll gonna, we gonna take it back anyway. We gonna take it back in taxes any damn way. Money ain't got nothing to do. That's the problem with who's it's, president now. It's all about money. You it should be about people's lives and and, and people trying to make it and you help. Know what's us. ironic about all of this is that. Christians say support Trump because he's a Christian and this is about money and isn't money the root of all evil? Yeah. But it's the cr Christians that are supporting But you know what? This not thing sure because like of money. I would well, like to have some but too. You know, I, don't, I mean, I'm not a Christian. Take that, that, look, take that money and stick it up in his butt. I don't care <laughs> nothing about no $1,200 when you to put me through H-E-L-L -L for four years. I don't want no four more years of Trump. Okay? Listen, I don't care what nobody say. He don't need to be. If y'all vote him in, think, that's the end. Y'all, y'all want the world to come to an end? Vote him in again because people gonna buy us. People do. gonna <laughs> buy us just do. because he's president. Because we so stupid to vote him back in. People don't even have respect for America no more. Oh, did, there was this video of a. Uh, he was a prime minister. America uh, don't have respect for us. <laughs> well. He was, I can't remember, he was the prime minister, I think he was the, like Israel, he was the prime minister of Israel, and one of the, he was talking about the COVID virus, and an American was in the audience and stood up and was like, why are you lying? This virus isn't as bad as everybody is making it. And he cut him off, he said, hold up, stop, clearly this dude got his education in America, the, the place that has the highest infection rates out of everybody in the whole world. Don't listen to him, you think we're gonna listen to him? He clearly is not educated. And I was like, wow. And then you we know what like, else? We look like fools to the world. We and do. We look really bad. And also with the numbers going up for people who have been infected with COVID, I blame the restaurants and, you know, like all these facilities that all Open back in. up when they see yeah. it. Because I thought it was the strangest thing. Like you have to wear, be, you, okay, you have to have a mask on to come in, but you can take your mask off to, to eat and drink. Mm -hmm. Like that is the dumbest mm -hmm. thing ever. You guys will remain closed and just do, uh, yeah. what is it, take out? Mm -hmm. and take it, yeah, yeah, that's safer. So I literally have to wear my mask to come in just to the in the entrance part and the rest of the restaurant. I could just, oh, you walk around freely without a mask. That's stupid. That now they stupid. got it so you have to stay at your table. It's still Unless stupid. you go into the bathroom or what did they say, or to the bar. 
I'm like, I wouldn't die. I ain't gonna die in no. no restaurant. But you know what's funny is I think about like with Elijah's school, uh, that lady came over here and said, you know, you could let them come back, and now they could have got like three or four teachers that got the virus that are supposed to be doing the remote learning. They short staffed because people had to be quarantined because y'all opened up the damn school too early. Mm. And then you telling me to send my son back there? You coming over here saying I think you should let him go back? And y'all can't even y'all ain't got all the staff y'all need. It's a hot mess. But see if if it was back like that. I was in school and they came over and told me terrible. what they think. Look, I don't. They don't pay you to think, and you don't pay me. You don't pay me because of what you think. I'm not gonna do what you say. I, don't pay you. I told that lady the next time she came in, I said, "Okay, hold on, just a minute, because I ain't got no mask. Stay right there until yeah, I put it on me. Let's see any Elijah." Uh -huh. then I went. She was like, no, like, don't you come up in here. <laughs> I mean, hey, because they hanging around all them people just like I yeah. thought. Mm -hmm. Now they got it running through them. Right. Yeah. And y'all telling me to send my son back there. Y'all out of y'all fucking mind. Stay out of their mind. Mm -hmm. It's all about money. Because you've seen how much they charge you for lunch and he wasn't even there. He wasn't even That's there. Right. I mean, they sent me a lunch bill. Right. My son hasn't yeah. even been at the school the whole school year. And they sent me a lunch bill. That's like, what I'm saying. That's you think I like, that ain't my kid? <laughs> like, my son has been eating at home. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, I thought that at first, too, that they had the wrong Elijah Johnson. Yeah, I was no, like, uh, no, they don't. He hasn't been, been, been there the whole school year. He's been doing the whole school year. have to pay double from the Elijah. Right. I have not been saying that for the that they charge me a lot. It doesn't make sense how much a school lunch is because of And that's why when Vea was in school, I used to, we used to just, Dinner, what a lunch, a sack lunch. And she didn't even take that in no way. Elijah didn't even take that in, but maybe what, crackers or something mm -hmm. like that. She didn't even take that in Remember, Elijah was way. taking a lunch to school, but he would bring it home and eat it when he got out of school. So, yeah. so there's no need to even they take they it to school. Little, <laughs> little stuff to eat at home. Yeah, but she eat just some, yeah, she still would eat some mm -hmm. of it. At least he said he would eat none of it. He wouldn't, he bring the whole lunch home and eat it when he got home. Like, why didn't he eat it at school? <laughs> they want you know those nasty kids. Mm. <laughs> He's like, yeah, no, nah, I want them to see my my good lunch. <laughs> All right, we're closing. Any final words, mother? Don't forget to vote. I already voted. Yes. Vote, vote, people, vote. We did. We voted early by now. Again, I said it last week. I'm gonna say it this week. No matter who you choose to vote for, yes. just vote. Use your let voice. your voice be yeah. Let your voice be heard. Um, hopefully, it's not an ignorant and I voice. Pray for, I pray for a, 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 educated a, a, person for so, a yeah. peaceful outcome that people don't lose their damn minds. That's it's already. Too if late anybody for that. might lose their mind, vote his ass back in. I might be the one to lose my mind. Y'all might have me on camera acting a fool. I don't want to lose my mind either. I don't want Trump to win. But you know I don't what? Want to lose my mind. There's either, no point so. to lose your mind because you can't control exactly. it. Exactly. That's so what I'm saying. You can't control it. Vote ahead and vote. Just deal with it. And then live on merry way. Well, you know, that's what I miss. Way. I miss like because. Do you ever remember, like, even when, remember when Gore and Bush were going against each other? And I was like, it's never been this bad. I'm like, yeah, I didn't want Bush to win, but when he won, I was just kind of like, uh, well. He wasn't that bad. Yeah, but, uh, you know, now well. watch this drive. Yeah, now watch this drive. <laughs> yeah, he, he wasn't too bad. I'm like, I've never seen it like this before. I think, I think it's really bad because Trump comes off as a racist. And then also, He's an asshole, period. Yeah, but then also a lot of his supporters are looking at him and like okay it's he, okay to do that right yeah, that's right yeah yeah so it just makes it twice as worse you know uh, be people careful. are more open now be careful his supporters when you see this janice jones don't come up messing with her don't if come she, up messing with her because i'm gonna act a fool it, right it, along it, with it, Charlie, and i'm hoping that like I, I would be uh the one running away with my that's all right. <laughs> that's all right take off girl Yeah, both of them. I'll be running. I take and the I kids. Never to to the you know, this is what's crazy. You can tell the world is really weird. When Obama won, they was coming up to me saying congratulations. congratulations. I remember. Yeah. Like I didn't win. It's divided. You can yeah. tell it's really divided. 
but of course, I mean, but he was for all people. He was for and all people. And we're gonna pray and that's why that's for everybody. It's because he wasn't just for. But that was crazy. That was he's also biracial. His yeah, like white, yeah, he's for everybody. African, so and that's right. what we need. Somebody that's for everybody. Mm -hmm. Definitely. I don't want nobody to be own. above anybody. Mm -hmm. Nobody. I want us all to be treated Equal. right. Yep. And then I think I'm gonna get real quick about. Trump and like all these immigrants and not allowing them in the country when he had all his wives Our have immigrants. been yeah immigrants mm -hmm. like and that's what you know when, what sense uh, does that make when Melania he Trump don't said, make no sense that's the thing he never make no sense but for Melania Trump to jump on the birther movement saying that Obama wasn't born in America bitch we know you weren't born in America don't you dare try to talk about him that pissed me off that's the reason why I don't care about you her. know what I'm I'm glad that. The Obamas is the way they, they don't pay no attention mm -hmm. to nothing. No, well, they not, say. Not this so week nothing. Obama went in on Trump. No, this way. Uh, well, <laughs> but he was telling the truth, and he was just, you know, everybody, you know, was doing. I it. mean, he waited four years to do it. Like he didn't say like when they turn it down. What Michelle say when they go low, we go high. I you say when they go low, we go lower. <laughs> I, uh, I'm gonna learn how to go high, but I haven't learned. Yeah. You know what I think. When you go higher, that bothers you. It does more bother you. Yeah, you live by that. You I live do. by that. You do. Because I, I mean, I just, I put myself in people's shoes. And they, get them shoes <laughs> about them other shoes. people. Yeah. And then I'm not gonna let somebody like get you get out to your see, character. Yeah, get out. You know, see me out get my character. Your character. Yeah. Like you can, you can cuss, argue all you want to. You like the food of me. I'm gonna mm -hmm. walk away still, and you're gonna be I'm you gonna go high when mm -hmm. you go low, and that's gonna be it. That's gonna bother you more than me stepping to your level. Yeah, yeah that's true. Which it's is crazy. People want to get a reaction out of you. That's well, true. it's weird. They don't get a reaction out of me. I don't. I can't believe she's my daughter because she <laughs> is so calm. Calm. You the calmest kid I ever had. And it makes no, sense. No, I see your kids. Yeah, I am. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it makes sense that you're so sweet, though. I gotta have some. I guess I'm just the evil one. No, <laughs> but you, you will get mad too. I will it get takes mad. a lot to make her I mad. Get mad. Turkey, I mean, it takes a lot to make her mad. I think I might have seen you mad, upset once. I, but I try to do it in a calm way, but sometimes I can't snap. Because people is just so. People make you. They make it. you. I just can't take yeah. them being so crazy. Though. Yeah. All right, uh, that is the end of the show. Again, if you did, weren't able to join us in live, just go ahead and leave a comment. If you have anything to say, and we'll still respond. Um, thank you, and then we'll t tune in actually Friday. Next Friday? We can do Friday. Yeah, we can do next Friday. And stay this Friday. Keep your eye out for Facebook for our TLC dance. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, you guys are TLC for Halloween. Yeah, they look so good in their costumes. My mother, they it. my daughter, and I. Yes. So we're going to be doing a little dance to it. But thank you, and we'll see you all Friday. Bye.